emotions. I'm learning a lot. I'm making sure I learn a lot because I love to learn one thing and I need to learn. This is kind of exfoliated, which I love. I love to It's like the, the, the dead skin can't come out fast enough for me to exfoliate again. I don't really exfoliate very much, but when I do, I love it. It feels so good. And of course, it helps our skin. I try not to get the old, the old, the young eyebrows. Um, I don't want to pull them off. I just want to keep them. And I don't go around the eyes because one that'll hurt my eyes. Uh, getting in my eyes. And two, I can, you know, stress the, stress the flesh. But I am getting the rest of my skin. recommend it but it's something I do and that is I bleach these socks every time I take a bath and I bleach my toes at the same time. I like it and I like the way it feels it's clean so it cleans my old my young toenails <laughs> and uh, man dudes as this day I've been feeling it, but thank goodness I ain't looking at right. So, uh, I got a new electric toothbrush from the same insurance advising socks. And those things are freaking and uh, expensive. So, I just plugged it in and tomorrow I'll use it. I don't know what I'm going to do to bleach my teeth because I kind of joined the caffeine uh, coffee club. And I don't think it's helping me to drink caffeine like I am. I've been trying to limit it to one cup a day. And I don't probably drink that much, but I drink way too much. This is hot water, kind of hot. And then at the end, you use cold water to close your pores, or for hot water, oh, yeah. or warm, or whatever you guys want to call it. Um, open the pores, and then let you clean it. So now the little oil that I've laying on there, laying, lay slobbered on there all day long. And then you close it with the cold or cool water. Let's see. Mm. Fresh and silky. 
clean. Still fresh and still clean in there. Found a cool water, I think. Not cold enough. But. Putting this back in its bag. Closing that up. But I really should set it out in the sun and dry real good, to be honest. But I will set it up soon, maybe I'll remember. I've been doing tons of laundry lately in here in the bathtub. By the way, this uh, thing where I take a bath and shower at the same time is called a, a rainforest. I kind of think of a um, Brook Shields in the Blue, Blue Lagoon. I never really watched it, but I heard a lot about it, so. <sighs> Someone I think is so cool. Is Ellie McGraw. She lives here in town with the matter and seen her a lot of the rest of the time. But Luna and I met her once and she was so beautiful and I just loved her and and she treated Luna with such respect and not that the quality human being right there. She has her own little fashion boutique thing or fashion line and I gotta tell you from what I can see of it is cool. I'd love to shop there, Allie, but in the future. Right now I'm still trying to get a car and uh, kind of up my health game. And lately, I'll be honest, I've kind of been bedridden. Not completely. I work all the time. Even if I'm in bed, I'm trying to learn something. But uh, I've got to make sure that the ears do not get water in them any more than they are to have. And breathing up humidity, my doctor said. I like my doctor lady, she's cool. Marianne Bregan, yo, Marianne Bregan. Thanks for being my doctor. I told her the other day, I don't want to die because I have this really high cholesterol. Um, really high, I like 184 LDL, which is the bad kind. 100 is high. You know, the 200 is too high, and um, and 284 in the total cholesterol. And I'm like, dude, I gotta just like seriously up my game on my health. I've been up in it, but like with everything I try to do, it's like you want to up your game, you're gonna have to up it, man. You're gonna have to look it up it. Okay. So anyway, I'm um, trying to get a car and I tried to get a part-time job and that didn't work. For one thing, I can't move. I can't, don't have the energy. And for another thing, and this body is taking all my time to try to care for and these emotions and all this stuff. But it's also, um, I have been so... I mean, these were disabled with regards to um, my um, documents that I've been at a standstill for two months with it, trying to get just a basic state license. And I gotta tell you, I've had to order documents from hither and yon and, and not gotten all of them and been able to do it. But every time I go to the DMV, they say, No, you need this, and you need it to be like that, and you need that. And I'm like, oh, shit, why didn't you tell me the first time? And their answer is, it's right there on the piece of paper. And I'm like, I can't even see that you like read this piece of paper. It's, just, it's like reading the fine plan on whatever. And I tend not to, and that's not smart. Okay, I'm saying it now. But every time I try, I'm like, what? <laughs> what if this is important? Tell me that, like, bold it, you know, let me know what's important because all this is a bunch of garbled language that, and you know what, 
while I'm not good at that stuff, I'm also so good at it. Why don't I do it right? And so I'm up to my game on it. I'm trying to up my game. Maybe I'll get a part-time job. But at this point, it looks like it looks doubtful. But um, but that's not to say don't believe in me because I'm gonna put my energy into something else. And maybe it's a part-time job. I I have to get a car. You guys, I have to, Jody Drinkwater has to get a car, and, um, boy, that's quite an un undertaking. So, uh, if you want to help me, you know my address is 518 Old Santa Fe Trail, number 316, Santa Fe, New Mexico, 8705, and, um, and I'll accept a free car, I'll accept a Ford car, I'll accept, um, car that I can make small payments for, I'm talking like 50 bucks a month, and I'll be stretching it. And it has to be a nice car, okay? When I say car, it could be a truck or one of those SUV things that I never have, but they're cool. I'll probably one of those. Cars are the best. Trucks are awesome, but trucks aren't very, um, well, they're not very practical. It's got to go with this and Especially for an artist, I have to be able to park shit around. And by the way, I did sell my um, cigar box last week. It's helped me a lot. Meaning, not financially so much, but... And that gave me a little... But it's hope. It gives me hope, you guys. Hope! I'm living off the of hope right now. And, um... So, anyway, let's relax a minute. Maybe I'll add some music to this part. I'm thinking of editing stuff and doing a lot of shibidibidibidibidibidibidibidibidibidibidibidibidibidibidibidibidibidibidibidibidibidibidibidibidibidibidibidibidibidibidibidibidibidibidibidibidibidibidibidibidibidibidibidibidibidibidibidibidibidib
there. That was fine. Uh, I really love water. I love being in water. Someone wants to buy me. I've got a specific one in mind, a, a house with a pool, all that, the pool, you help me. Only a few million dollars for this and uh, pay for the whole house. And, um, or you can give me some support and then I can invest in um, it. And three million dollars, hey, George, George, or Martin, why not? Come on. Okay. Uh, Okay, that was lovely, okay? Maybe we'll have to do rainforest with Jody for a while to get me relaxing. But whatever it takes, you know, like the devil's getting to take a bath with me. <laughs> yeah, there I am, naked as a jaybird. Will you love me? I'll show you the bathroom more later. We already got you through.